Michael Scott. So welcome everybody to this celebration of the computer science class of 2021. I hope to see many of you in person for our degree ceremony on the Eastman Quad at 1 p.m. tomorrow. It will be kind of cool to have our own CS only commencement, though um, it will be similar to the ceremonies for the other engineering departments and will be run by the office of the Dean. Today's virtual ceremony is our chance to really be ourselves and to celebrate what makes CS special. We are, after all, both the largest department in the School of Engineering and the one with the closest ties to the arts and sciences. Our graduates complete course clusters in both the humanities and the social sciences. About half of them pursue a double major. Many others pursue five course minors. An amazing number are talented musicians. Others are artists, linguists, economists, psychologists, or specialists in other allied fields. Simply put, you folks are awesome. I want to acknowledge both joy and frustration today. In a normal year, we would be holding this event in person and you'd all be surrounded by friends and family. After three semesters of COVID-19 restrictions though, this Zoom event is going to have to do. And while we may be frustrated at the limitations, let's focus on the joy. We have an amazing graduating class Congratulations to all of you. This afternoon's event serves mainly to honor our bachelor's degree recipients and the many award winners among them. Before we get to that, however, I'd like to briefly acknowledge our PhD and master's graduates. We are, after all, a research intensive department. Doctoral degrees were awarded this morning in a ceremony at the Eastman Theater. We had 11 recipients this year whose names appear on this slide. Master's degrees will be awarded tomorrow morning, also at the Eastman Theater. We have 21 recipients this year, a somewhat smaller number than usual, due mostly to restrictions on international travel that stopped people from entering the program a year and a half ago. Uh, about half of these graduates are continuing in the PhD program, the rest are heading off to industry. Finally, um, before turning to our main undergraduate event, I'd like to highlight a few particularly significant staff and faculty milestones. So within the university, Eileen Pallara, our intrepid department administrator, was recently chosen for a Whitmer Award. That's the highest honor granted to U of R professional staff in recognition for a 50 year career of service to the university and the wider community. Sundia Dwarkadis, who stepped down last July after six years as department chair, was recognized with the Engineering School's Outstanding Faculty Award. And Chen Liang Shu was just recently awarded a Wilmot Assistant Professorship, recognizing, quote, the most promising men and women in the early stages of their academic careers, unquote. In the wider professional community, Yu Hao Ju received the coveted career award from the National Science Foundation. James Allen was named a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and he also received the Herbert Simon Prize from the Cognitive Systems Foundation. And Esan Hawk and Jen Bai received support from Google for an innovative program to introduce some 20 undergraduates from historically underrepresented groups to cutting edge research. Closer to home, uh, my congratulations to Chen Liang Shu and to Jen Bai, whose pictures appeared on previous slides, both of whom became new parents this past year. Best wishes to James Allen, who is retiring this July after an astonishing 42 years in the department. A fond farewell to Mutu Venkata Subramaniam, who is relocating to Washington, DC and a hearty welcome to Kaveh Hosseini, who will be joining the faculty this fall. So moving on to the main event. One of the real joys for me of working at URCS is the incredible community spirit among our undergraduates. It's no accident that the CS Undergraduate Council won the University's Excellence in Programming Award this past year for, quote, its exceptional creativity, planning, and execution of programs that appeal to a broad cross-section of the university community, unquote. I'd like to personally express my thanks to the leaders on this slide. 
Amon Shrestha has served as CSUG president, heading up a leadership team that also included An Nguyen, Ashley Yoon, Emily Jung, Jerry Liu, Tashim Brown, and Carolina Lion He. In addition to the group award for CSUG, Amon this year received the university's Alice Desimone Award for quote, dedication, enthusiasm, collaboration, and positive role modeling that help promote and maintain a strong quality of life for all, unquote. Anna Zimmerman has served as president of URCS Women and Minorities in Computing, heading up a leadership team that also included Emily Zhang, um, Xiaojun Min, Carissa King, Sarah Atterbury, and Jiza Zhang. Spanning all the departments of the engineering college, the U of R has strong chapters of both the National Society of Black Engineers and the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. This year, the presidents of both organizations were URCS students, Stephen Kohlberg for NSB and Daniel Munoz Huerta for SHIP. Thank you to all of those. We have three students this year receiving research honors. Yi Yang Su is receiving high honors in research. Uh, Yi Yang worked with professors Xu and Wu on separating invisible sounds toward universal audiovisual scene aware sound separation. Cecilia Zhang also received high honors in research. Cecilia worked with professors Venkata Subramaniam and Pai on implementation of secure aggregation protocol and efficient packed secret sharing. And Boyu Zhang is receiving highest honors in research. Boyu worked with professors Kautz and Hawk on pervasive online data for sensing mental health. I would also mention that Yi Yang was chosen by the university to receive its prestigious Barnard Prize awarded every year to quote, junior or senior engineering students on the basis of personal qualification and achievement, unquote. And Boyu was named a finalist nationwide in the Computing Research Association's Outstanding Undergraduate Researcher Competition. Ashley Tanasaka and Yipong Zhang, as I think you'll be hearing later on in this presentation, were awarded honorable mention in that same national competition. Most of our bachelor's recipients, those who are in town at least, will have been recognized in ceremonies yesterday on the Eastman Quad, and they'll be marching across the stage tomorrow at 1 p.m. to receive their diploma folders. Before moving on to individual department awards, I want to put all the names on the screen. We have 39 students receiving a Bachelor of Arts degree and 80 receiving a Bachelor of Science degree this year. For any parents or others who are wondering, the BS is the more intensive traditional CS degree and the BA provides more curricular flexibility. It's popular among double majors because it provides more room for courses in other departments. In addition to the research honors that I mentioned on a previous slide, many of our graduates will be receiving Latin honors, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. These are based on grade point average and they'll be announced as students process across the stage tomorrow. Finally, in my part of this ceremony today, I'd like to recognize students elected to Phi Beta Kappa. As many of you know, Phi Beta Kappa is the oldest and most prestigious of America's academic honor societies. Founded in 1776, it runs an ambitious set of programs to promote the classic liberal ideal of breadth of interest, lifelong learning, dedication to responsible citizenship, and promotion of the public good. Ten of our graduating seniors were elected to the society this year, and five more from next year's class were elected as juniors this year. Finally, one student, Valerie Batista, a rising junior, was selected for the highly um, prestigious O'Brien Book Award. Congratulations to all of these. And finally, uh, at this point, having spoken way too long, I am delighted to turn over the microphone to Professor Sundia Duarcatus, who will present the first of our departmental awards. You want to unmute Sundia? Unmuted now. 
It is my pleasure to introduce Anna Zimmerman as this year's recipient to the UR Whitmick Leadership Award. This award is given to an individual who has made significant contributions in terms of leadership and service in building a stronger and more inclusive community in CS. Anna, through her four years, has held many student leadership roles as peer advisor in CSAG as a coordinator for Dandy Hacks, as business manager, and as current president for UR Whitmick, and also as peer leader of the Grace Harper Celebration Conference, where she has coached and mentored individuals in order to gain the most out of that conference. She's been a major contributor to the expansion of WICMIC and to its seamless cooperation and interaction with CSAG, and for which UR WICMIC received the Meliora Values Award last year. She's been a work workshop leader and lab TA, and she's getting her BS in computer science with a minor in psychology. Anna will be joining Nike as a software engineer. Congratulations, Anna. So this year's Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award goes to Nathan Reed for his outstanding service as a TA for multiple instances of CS252 and for CS171. Nathan was consistent and conscientious, on time with his grading, and a collaborative team player. I had the privilege of having him as TA for CS252. And not only did he do all that was expected of a teaching assistant, he was very proactive about ensuring that problems were identified and addressed in a timely manner. In addition to all of this, he served as a great resource both to the students in the courses he TA'd, as well as to peers in the courses he took. And I was witness to this in the recent course, Parallel and Distributed Systems, that he took with me. He responded and provided useful resources during online and in-person discussions, enhancing the overall collaborative learning experience. Nathan graduates with a BS in Computer Science, uh, and in addition to that, has been a prize winning, winning participant in CS Games and Dandy Hacks. Nathan will be joining JP Morgan Chase in Delaware. Congratulations, Nathan. All right, I'm going to wear my hat to present the award. Um, Aman has achieved so many things that I had to write a script to make sure that I don't miss anything. So you know that Aman won the Ellis D. Simone Award, which is one of the college student organization leadership awards. In addition, he has been the president of CSUG, the Computer Science Undergraduate Council. He has TA'd for five classes, uh, was a Dats Rice Scholar, participated in two internships and has directed two dandy hacks. And that wasn't enough because very recently he got inducted into Pi Beta Kappa Society as well. So clearly he has had a very busy time here and I wish him all the best and he transitioned into his next career. And if you have taken my class, you know I like the virtual clap, so feel free to clap for I'm on. All right, so this is also me. So we have two persons that I'm gonna introduce. First, Boyu, who is in the call. So there is only one word that I can use to describe Boyu, which is prolific. Uh, from the very beginning, he just knew that he wanted to go to grad school and he just charted a unique agenda to push that forward. He had enough skills to get a highly paid internship. He did not do that. Instead, he worked through the summer regular semester uh, without pay because you could not pay him as he was an international student and charted an aggressive research agenda. So at the end of his undergrad, he now has a publication record, which is as impressive as a third year PhD student. So it's no surprise that he got into pretty much all the graduate programs he has applied to. 
And after make, going through some decisions, decisions, he has decided to go to MIT for his grad studies. Um, let's all clap for Boyu and wish him all the best for his future. Boyu, what's with a sad face? All right, there, there you go, that's a smile. No, no, thank you, thank you all. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I should unmute myself to say anything like <laughs> to kind of interrupt, but yeah, thank you all. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I won't like take any more time. So just go ahead. All right, the next student I'm gonna introduce is Victor Anthony, who is also in the call. Usually when you introduce students, we always say good things about them, but I'm gonna say some bad things about Victor. Uh, Victor is really a selfless student. Uh, whenever people ask for things, he just can't say no. And he will just go after it, uh, do his best. In some cases, if he needs to learn something new, he will do it, but then he will go and help others. Uh, in my career, I haven't seen a student like Victor who is such a team player. As a result, at the end, he may not have a lot to show for himself, but he has truly been an enabler in many of the work that we have done. And so students like Victor are rare. And when you get to work with them, it's just truly a pleasure. And he's off to doing his PhD at Johns Hopkins University from fall and wish him all the best. Let's all clap for him. Thank you, Professor, for the kind words and your guidance through my undergraduate career. Professor Jebaluo, who can't make it to this ceremony, wrote to me with the following, which I now call verbatim. I have had the privilege to work with Yipeng for the past two years as his research advisor. Among the over 50 undergraduate students I have supervised for research in the past 10 years, Yipeng is one of the handful of star students. Solid mathematical and machine learning foundation superb programming skills, critical thinking, strong work ethic, and high research productivity. Taking all his achievements in totality, Yipeng is probably the best undergraduate student that I've ever interacted with. Yipeng's research projects with me mainly focus on developing machine learning systems that can benefit society, which have so far led to two publications with him as first author. Yipeng started working at the end of his sophomore year and led a project on automated teeth cavity diagnosis using deep learning enabled smartphone app. He collaborated with the dentists to create the first ever large scale fully annotated intraoral image database for per teeth cavity detection. In addition to the paper, it's also noteworthy that NIH grant has been awarded based on this work. Yipeng led another project on investigating the population-wide depression trend during the COVID-19 pandemic. This study is a pioneering effort on large-scale mental health monitoring on social media during a major crisis and has a potential to raise public awareness of people's mental health conditions during the pandemic. This project resulted in another paper, and I'm aware that Yipo has successful in other research projects in tutoring junior students, end of quote. So Yipo, it gives your professor great pleasure to see you receiving the undergraduate research award as it does to all of us, congratulations. Thank you, Professor Dean, for um, uh, giving me this uh, award in the department for recognizing for uh, what I've done. So um, I guess I'll carry on with this honor. Thank you. Outstanding achievements. Congratulations. Um, this is my great honor to present Ashley's Excellence in Undergrad Research Award. Uh, Ashley is one of my first um, students since I joined UR who is the founding member actually for a project called TIPS. So the, the goal of the project is to design augmented reality and variable technologies to help hearing parents to better communicate with their deaf child, especially in early childhood. So I remember the many um, 
very intensive brainstorm sessions that we had in the early days of the project. And I, I really like to highlight her contribution um, in this project and uh, also her creativity to carry along the project, even in the, um, the, the hardest moment during the pandemic when it's really hard to get access to all the hardware in the lab to do the prototyping for one of the survey study. So um, it's, it's truly impressive. And I was always impressed with her natural curiosity and her persistence with research, um, especially in the field of assistive technology to um, uh, help people with diverse and special needs. So um, I know that uh, uh, Ashley has a very, has many research projects under her belt. For example, she has also worked with Professor Asen Hoke on creativity and social network, and also Professor Robert Jacobs on computational cognition and visual perception. So her, she, has, she has her work uh, out in the academic community through the top conferences and journals, such as the, the International Symposium of Mixed Reality, Mixed and Augmented Reality, and the Royal Society Interface. Um, she has won the, the CRA Outstanding Undergrad Researcher Honorable, Honorable Mention Award for two years in a row since 2020. And also she's, she's, she has won both the McNair and Discovery Grant at UR. So um, I know this fall, she's going to be joining the uh, PhD program at the HCI lab uh, at University of Maryland, which is one of the most prestigious uh, research group in the field of HCI. And uh, with that, um, many congratulations, Ashley, and I wish you um, the best uh, luck ahead. Thank you, Professor Bai. Congratulations. Okay, this is most special for me. Uh, Josh Sobo was RU student with me in summer 2019 and intern with Max Planck Institute in Germany last summer. He made a breakthrough discovery in an algorithm for all window co-occurrence analysis, which he named ALCO. He is the lead author in the paper in the upcoming annual symposium on combinatorial pattern matching. His research extends the work of other UR grads, in particular Lucinda Liu and Daniel Busaba, who's also graduating this year. It was in collaboration with fellow student Noah Bertram and with professors Daniel Gilde and Fatima Nardison, who are interested in Josh's work for potential applications in natural language processing and databases. Congratulations for the excellent research and this fully deserved award. Thank you, Professor Ding. Uh, Josh, do you want to tell people your um, uh, future plan? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so um, I'm going to the University of Iowa next year for a PhD in theoretical computer science. Excellent. Best wishes. Hi. Uh, uh, congratulations to Patrick. I can't tell if he's here. He was here as the letter P and then he seemed to fall out. He might be a telephone number, but let me tell you about him. He's a triple major getting bachelor's degrees in physics and applied math and in computer science. He did so with an essentially perfect average and being on Dean's list every eligible term while also participating in UR student organizations in multiple departments, including uh, data science, our sister department and physics, and also being part of the ultimate Frisbee club. He was selected as a DAAD scholar. And so he spent a summer doing research at TU Hamburg. He was in such demand as an REU student that Chen Ding let me know that Patrick twice said no to Chen Ding, even though Chen Ding had terrific things to say about him. Uh, luckily, uh, some of us did get to work with him. Professor Ching Liang Xu and I uh, both got to work with Patrick as R an REU student, and we were both deeply impressed in Chen Ling's case on a paper bringing together reinforcement learning, game theory, and meta learning. And in my case, We've been working intensely with two junior CS majors, 
uh, meeting three times a week by Zoom and with reports going around between them. And we're right now finishing a conference submission, which may be coming in and out as he works on, uh, to uh, show that uh, you can use the structure of the set of primes to improve simulations of Leslie Valiant style ambiguity limited classes via restricted counting. So he's been tremendous on that, just tremendous, doing difficult analyses of iterative functions. He's contributed incredibly to our department through its educational mission by being a TA, but he did that not just for us, but also for chemistry and physics. Daniel Stefankovic said terrific things about Patrick's contributions in problem sessions, and I was really lucky to have him in 280 this year, and many of you know him as the tutorial leader there. Personally, Patrick's a treat to deal with, and he does a zillion simultaneous things. And the short way I'd summarize Patrick is he always goes all out and he's always all in, and that's quite impressive. But the best summary I've heard of Patrick came from Len Schubert who gave a summary that I don't think a single other person in the department could give, which was, in Len's 48 years as a professor, he is, doesn't recall ever having met a student of the caliber of Patrick. Uh, and that is really the, the highest honor I've ever heard anyone give anyone. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted to to know Patrick and work with him because he is tremendous. Patrick has been hired up by Riverside Research. Uh, it's a major contractor and uh, he's already worked for them extensively as an interim. And I'm sure he'll have a tremendous career. Warmest congratulations to Patrick. Uh, so let's all uh, thank him in this Zoomy way. And uh, I, think, uh, I think Sierra will now uh, do closing remarks. Thank you, Lane, for that. Um, I just want to express my thanks to the class of 2021 for welcoming, welcoming me into the department. I know throughout your four years with us, you have worked with four different undergrad coordinators. So I just want to thank you for welcoming me. And also, I want to thank you for adjusting to this year's circumstances so greatly. And um, I think we're all proud of you for making that adjustment. Um, so again, congratulations, class of 2021. Round of applause, everyone. You cannot mute now. 